Welcome back, Thrani. I'm Joe B. Today, I'll show you how to palpate the pubic tubercle. Let's dive in. The pubic tubercle is an important landmark when palpating the pubis. The inguinal ligament attaches here as well as the cremaster muscle. Before palpating, wash or sanitize your hands, then introduce yourself to the patient and what you are about to do to gather consent. Make sure that you use your finger pads, adhere to a broad contact, and avoid too much palpation pressure to maximize patient comfort. Patient position will be in supine, head, trunk, pelvis in neutral, arms at sides, and legs uncrossed. The therapist can either be on the right or left side. You can use the heel of the hand and place it on the belly button first of the patient, then slowly move it downwards. Your patient can use his or her hand as a barrier to cover the genital region. Keep moving the heel of your hands downward until two bony prominences on either side of the heel of your hand are felt, specifically the thenar and hypothenar eminences. You can switch manual contact using the index and middle finger pads. If you go medially in between the pubic tubercle, then you will palpate the symphysis pubis. So do you want to know how to palpate the greater trochanter of the femur? If so, then watch this next video. Thanks so much.